Hello, I'm Alex Zane, your Amex Insider. Now as the 58th BFI London Film Festival in partnership with American Express rolls into town, we thought we'd celebrate this wonderful event by taking a look at some little known facts about great British cinema. Welcome to the rooftop of the Department of Energy and Climate Change in Whitehall, which many a Bond fan will recognize as the place Daniel Craig stands at the very end of Skyfall. I'm joined by Sophie. Now, this location has also doubled uh, in another franchise, hasn't it? Yes. Uh, it, in fact, was used to be the Ministry of Magic for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And you actually know a fair few locations in London that have been other places on screen, don't you? Yes. The Royal Naval College of Greenwich. It's been Berlin in The Muppets Most Wanted. Fictional location of Lilliput in Gulliver's Travels and it's been Paris in Les Miserables. I'll see you at uh, Greenwich Royal Naval College and I'll raise you at uh, the Farmelow building in Farringdon. Christopher Nolan used it uh, for Gotham City's police headquarters in uh, both The Dark Knight and Batman Begins. So Michael, as a movie producer, you must have heard of a fair few examples of actors having to learn new skills for their roles in film. But to actually be able to uh, portray a soldier on screen. You end up with actors having to actually train with actual soldiers, don't you? Well, certainly. If you take a film like 28 Days Later, people like Christopher Eccleston had to go to a military training camp as if they were joining up something like the Paras, so they could come in, look like a real soldier for each take, mm -hmm. um, and get on with the film. So it's fair to say, in any busy city like London, crews have to work pretty fast to get their shots. Absolutely, yeah. For example, Westminster Bridge, when Danny Boyle was shooting 28 days later, they shot very, very early in the morning and for just minutes at a time would shut down the road in order to get the shots that they needed. To discover more facts and see the best new cinema from Britain and around the world, check out this year's BFI London Film Festival in partnership with American Express, happening from the 8th to the 19th of October.